One of the biggest questions that continues getting asked to me is, Bashar, if you were 20 years old again, what are some things that you would do differently? Our 20s are literally the toughest time in our lives. We've just gotten into adulthood. We're starting to take on responsibilities. The world is actually finally noticing us and it's starting to expect things from us. It can be overwhelming. I am 33 years old now and let me tell you, if I knew what I know today back in my 20s, I would literally be worth at least 10 times what I'm worth today. Not to mention, I would have so many more meaningful relationships, better health, and just all my decision making would be completely different. And because of that, my favorite quote by Warren Buffett is, a smart man learns from his mistakes, but a wise man learns from other people's mistakes. And that's exactly what you're doing right now is you're learning from my mistakes. And honestly, it all boils down to five simple things that I'll be covering with you in this video. Not to mention, the fifth one will blow your mind, so let's dig right in. You see, in your 20s, you literally have the rest of your life ahead of you. You have just become aware of your existence, probably in the last few years and you have become aware of your surroundings. Not to mention the human brain really does not get fully developed until 25. And you know, with today's health advancements, I'm pretty sure not too long from now, people's life expectancy will probably be over 100 years old. So I guess what I'm trying to say is you have time. However, you want to start now. So number one, you want to get into what I like to say the discovery phase and what that is is pretty much trying to figure out three to five things that you are interested in and trying to try them all out kind of test drive them for about three to five months each and try to see which one you like more now you can do these things all next to each other so you don't have to do one for three to five months and then the other for three to five months you can pick up multiple things and do them side by side each other and this could be side hustles businesses sports, maybe careers, maybe relationships, really anything that you want to get into. Just think of terms of decades. So for example, if you want to get into something, think of something that you're going to do for the next decade. So at least for the rest of your 20s and probably into your 30s as well. So for example, when I was 25 and really lost everything and was $150,000 in debt, I wanted to do something different because I had spent all of my life with retail stores and, you know, specifically restaurants, I wanted to go online. So I simply went online and I went to YouTube specifically and typed how to make money online. And I just got bombarded by all kinds of things from penny stock trading to affiliate marketing to drop shipping, all kinds of e-commerce until I found Amazon FBA. And really even before I got into Amazon FBA, I actually tried at least four other things and took courses and learned about them and started testing them out to see which one resonated with me and which one was more of a fit for the type of lifestyle that I was trying to accomplish. And even when I got into Amazon FBA, I started researching deeper because with Amazon FBA, you could do private labeling, you could do wholesaling, you could do drop shipping. There's all kinds of things that you could do. So even within Amazon, I dug deeper and I went into that discovery phase as well. Now, once you have picked three to five things and have tested each one of them for at least three to five months, you want to ask yourself, number one, can I commit to this one thing for the next one to two years? If the answer is yes, ask the second question, which is if after two years, this thing goes nowhere, it completely flops. Will I regret the last two years? If the answer is no, that I will not regret the last two years, then you know that you have found the thing that you're going to focus on for the next one or two years. Now, number two, once you have found the one thing that you want to simply focus on that thing for at least one to two years, and this is not, you're only going to be doing this for one or two years. This is, you're going to be discovering it and figuring it out for the next one to two years. And you see, the problem that I have with social media nowadays is that they show you this unrealistic things of timelines that are just not true of how you can achieve your goals in six months or two weeks or 30 minutes. It is just not reality because the only time you can truly accomplish magic Whereas where the greatest things happen is through mastery. And mastery only happens when you consistently do the same thing over long periods of time. So this means no shiny objects, 
saying no to literally everything, changing your environment, maybe even detaching yourself from your friends, your family, your loved ones, and maybe even moving away somewhere to focus. You see, I've gone through this same journey at least three times in my life right now. I did it once in 2013 when I started my first business as a restaurateur. I did it again in 2016 when I went online and I did it again recently in 2021 when I moved across country from California all the way to Florida where I simply knew nobody. A brand new town, brand new state. I had never really went outside of San Diego, California, where I lived for 14 years. And let me tell you, it was uncomfortable. It was scary. It was not something that I liked, but it really helped me focus on my business. And this is one of the reasons why I was able to 10X my business in under one year. Now, the third thing that you wanna do is find a mentor, someone that has gone through the same path that you are trying to go through, has accomplished a kind of success that you are trying to accomplish, and simply piggyback on their success. Simply because regardless what it is you're trying to do, someone else has gone before you. Why try to reinvent the wheel? Why try to pave a brand new path? People have done anything and everything you're trying to accomplish. So instead of trying to pave a brand new path, piggyback on their success, and this is literally the only cheat code that I know to success. And here's a word of caution. This is where your ego will probably get inflated and pop in. Simply because you're in your 20s, and I say this from experience because I had one of the biggest egos that I've known. And let me tell you, after having run a restaurant for three years, having lost it, lost half a million dollars of an investment, came out of with $150,000 in debt, I learned my lesson and realized that if I had gone after someone who had ran a restaurant successfully and partnered up with them or even had them mentor me, I would have succeeded finally, number one, and succeeded a lot further and a lot faster. And of course, would not have wasted three years of my life I can never get back again. So not only do you want to find a mentor, but you want to literally dig yourself into the subject, again, regardless what it is, whether if it's a sport, a hobby, relationship, or especially a business, you want to learn anything and everything that there is out there about this one thing, specifically and really most importantly from that one person if they have different things that you can learn from them because the deeper you can go on one person's teachings, the better. Number four, you want to stay disciplined and keep that in mind because do understand that if you do the top three things, in the next two to three years, you will actually start seeing success because those are the things that I did which have finally made me successful. And one of the following two things will happen, if not both, and unfortunately, they both happen to me. Number one, your ego will even get a lot more inflated, blinding your eyes, letting you think that you are the shit and you don't need anyone else around you. And number two, you will start getting comfortable because especially if you come from humble beginnings like I did, when I started making five, 10, 15, $20,000 a month, I thought I was untouchable. I thought I was, you know, sitting on the seventh sky. I thought I simply had made all the money in the world and that literally nothing would break me. But I did not know what I did not know. You see, I had a partner and I actually started the business where we were making about $25,000, $30,000 a month each in net profits. And after about four or five months, I found myself partying with my business partner literally every single day at the beach. And after about four or five months of doing that, we saw ourselves out of business and out of money because we got comfortable. And instead of continuing to grow our businesses and take care of our teams, we went out there and started partying. Because again, as kids in our 20s, what else do we really know? Number five, understand that it takes 20 years to build your reputation, but five minutes to destroy it. Now, let's say it's 2026. You've been making money for a little while. You've been disciplined. You've done everything correctly, but you slip up and do something stupid, whether if it's in the business world, whether if it's in, you know, within your team, if you are in sports, whether if it's in your community or in your church, regardless what it is you're trying to do, understand that in today's day and age, Literally, information can become available to 7.5 billion humans on planet Earth in a matter of minutes. And trust me when I say this, because I am telling you from experience, there is no hiding. If you do something wrong, 
the entire world will know about it and there is no hiding from that. So make sure that you are cautious, be smart and make wise decisions. Now, if you found this video valuable and are interested in starting a side hustle, but don't have a lot of money to get started. Last week, I recorded this video where I actually show you how to start a side hustle with zero of your own money. So be sure to check it out and I'll see you there.